It's been a good year for maize. And food security to some degree has been mitigated with a bumper harvest. Something many cash trap consumers are welcoming. Farmers have produced a surplus of roughly 50% of the annual maize output, which is now expected to be exported to African countries with a shortage in grain supply. This situation has changed uh, dramatically. Uh, the first one is um, maize production has increased from 7.7 uh, million hectare last year to 14.8 hectare this year. This is because of good rain. So you can see uh, maize can, can production has increased and it can really play significant role in, in uh, the food security of low-income population. The harvest is expected to alleviate price pressures being placed on consumers who rely on the staple food supply to get by. However, the recent army worm infestation has shown that caution must be heeded regarding the sector's long-term sustainability. This doesn't mean that uh, the maize production is not confronted by different challenges. The first one is disease and the second one is weather and climate variability. As far as disease is concerned, one of the one of the challenges is aflatoxin, and there are different initiatives at the African Union level, uh, at a regional, continental level, as well as national level to address those challenges. In order to avoid production failures in maize, new technologies will have to be adopted to mitigate against climate change, which is already a concern in other parts of Africa and even locally. Unlike the rest of South Africa, the Western Cape managed to produce less than 500,000 tons of maize, which is the least of all the provinces. Most of that, though, is destined for animal feed, and what little crop is being produced is facing major obstacles. A lot of the agricultural water has been cut off. Um, we are in dire straits, uh, especially for the um, after-harvest uh, watering. It's a crisis. Um, and we've got to manage how we're going to do it in the future. South Africa and Zimbabwe's May sectors, though, will be celebrating this win, which is not often registered within these times of uncertain weather conditions. Have Andrew, CGTN, Cape Town.